the CAPM exam is changing because the previous exam content outline did not make any sense. It was a lot of repetition recallability question and it only talked about predictive methodology or process-based methodology. The current ECO, and I will give you the ECO walkthrough right now, is keeping in line with what is expected from a new project manager. Um, it is very nice progress and um, the current expectation from the new project manager is they should know from predictive processes, they should also know agile processes and they should be able to do some work from business analysis perspective as well. Um, so this is a very nice change which PMI has uh, come up with. Um, this is the time to let's look at the um, eco itself. So here is the eco on your screen. If you search for CAPM eco or CAPM content outline 2023, you're going to be finding this particular uh, PDF file from PMI website. Um, this is the um, see January 2023 update, which means the the CAPM exam is changing from January um, next year. What it talks about is um, what is CAPM and it also talks about the questions which are going to come from uh, for CAPM exam within the CAPM exam. The question is going to be divided into uh, four groups. I will talk about that here and it also talks about um, different domain and task. I'll come back to it so that it becomes relevant for you to see. Um, so let me resume the slide and talks about what is the eligibility for CAPM. Understand that CAPM is for uh, college fresh graduates or people, who, uh, CAPM is also taught within the college themselves uh, as part of the curriculum. So eligibility which was previously that you needed 1500 hours of project management experience that's gone it is no longer required which is again as i said it's a welcome change so the eligibility which is required uh, to appear for the capm exam is you need a high school diploma and you need 23 contact hours what is contact hours 23 pdus um these PDUs are the PDU Certificate Professional Development Unit Certificate which would come from any ATP who's going to teach you the uh, CAPM syllabus as per the ECO. Um, so this comes from you and this comes from the training provider or we call them ATP with PMI. Um, let's see what is uh, what are the changes which I'm very excited about and talking about. Um, so if you look at the previous exam or the exam which is prevalent right now till December 2022, um, the questions were from the PM Box 6 uh, chapter and these chapters were like integration management, scope management, blah, blah, blah. So all of these were processes um, and the questions were more like, you know, what is the outcome, where is the project charter created? Um, how do you manage stakeholders, blah, blah, blah. And then the questions were divided into these, um, you know, percentages of questions from each knowledge area. Uh, the new exam, on the other hand, is simplified. We saw that in the current eco. Um, we have project management and fundamentals, which is 36%, which is essentially the three chapters of the PM Box 6. Um, and then here it deviates, you have predictive plan-based methodologies. So you, you know, the entire discussion is on um, how do I work in a waterfall model. 17% of the question is going to come from waterfall model. Agile framework and methodologies, you can expect 20% of the questions. And business analysis framework, which I said, is really a nice part wherein you know new managers or coordinators can act as BAs or business analysis analyst. Um, that's that's where uh, the more emphasis is on. This is a good change, and you would find it to get certified, and it's gonna pay back um, with respect to you being more efficient in your job, you being more. Um, 
much more uh, ready for the project managers or uh, business analyst role. So this is good. Let's talk about the questions um, and the overall exam, CAPM exam. The CAPM exam is uh, total hours are three hours, no change there. And the questions are 150 questions. Um, these questions previously there were only you know questions and then there were radio buttons four radio buttons which mean only one choice was correct now with the new exam you would have obviously radio button questions which may be somewhere around 70 to 80 percent of the questions out of 150 question but you would also have a lot of other type of questions for example you would have questions which are matching so there would be questions um, you know some definitions or some kind of roles and responsibility and you can drag and drop or match you would also have other type of questions which are multi-select you know there's a scenario given and then it says select two um, so when you gonna have choices here these are check boxes and you would be able to select two of the answers uh, single select is exactly the same as the previous one. Hotspot or matching are similar. So um, hotspot are the questions wherein you are given a picture and then some answers here. You pick up and say this is the right answer. And one or two questions can be from fill in the blank um, domain or type. So you would have you know scenario and somewhere you have to type either a term or some numbers to give the answer. Um, now you can take the exam from home as well. Um, so is there a break? Yes, there is a break. Um, so in the three hours of the total exam time, now the questions are divided into 75, which is part A, 75, which is part B, and you have an optional break of 10 minutes here what it says is this break is exclusive of the overall time which is three hours so the timer starts from here you can do section a in whatever time but the timer keeps on going or running and it resumes uh, when you start section b and closes till you uh, click on submit here uh, at any point of time, you can navigate only in one section. Once you click on submit here, um, you can take a break. Either you are at home or in the, in the view center. You can take a break, go out, have coffee, come back exactly after 10 minutes, which is out of, which is not taken from those three hours. When you come back, when you resume uh, the timer, whenever it got stopped, let's say you took two hours to do this, it would start from two hours and you would have one hour to close the next 75 questions. Um, when you click on submit here, then the entire questions are submitted to the server and you get the results there and then. So you get pass or fail there and then. This is an on-demand type of questions. Um, you will get different set of questions from, you know, a pool of a lot of thousands of questions for you and another person, different questions. Um, I can get into a lot of detail of difficulty level, passing percentage, but that's not the perspective today. So how do you prepare? Prepare with any type of mode. You can go with online self-study. You can choose any provider PMI being one of them you can come to me or go to any of the ATP you can go to any of the online like you know providers and um, read the study material you can also opt for virtual class or you can opt for classroom session based on the kind of person you are the, the way you feel comfortable select that class um, and get those 25 contact hours. That's the only eligibility criteria. The rest of the others are just your education. Once you have 25 contact hours, you can file the CAPM application and prepare towards CAPM exam and pass the exam.
that's pretty much from me my name is kavita sharma i am available at kavitasharma.net uh, in case you have any question you can write to me at help at kavitasharma.net i wish you all the best so i'm also launching a batch in january 2023 with the revised uh, study material the book is pass capm in 21 days um this would be available for general public in december 2022 so that you can start off with capm preparation the new way um in case you want to be part of this workshop in january 2023 please come um and roll for the workshop the current discounts are there um it's highly discounted as of now you can enroll for january workshop here at kavitasharma.net in case you need any help uh, just ping on that whatsapp button and there would be somebody who would be assisting you i wish you all the best and prepare well and get to that path of success as the new project managers thank you have a very nice day bye bye